So what I want us to do is to start becoming more conscious, start choosing things in a better way for ourselves, and start creating a life that's going to gear us to really take advantage of the opportunities that are going to show up for us in the, the years to come. This podcast is brought to you by The Integrated Human. We work up, down, inside out to plug yourself into your potential. If you want to see what we are up to and what's next, sign up to our newsletter or follow us on social media. If you like what we are doing, we really appreciate it if you can like our post on social media and YouTube and help us grow. All right. Welcome to the Big and Small Podcast. I'm Jason Shields, and I'm big. And I'm Marit Gabrielsen, and I'm a tiny one. Back in the seat. Let's Hot go. Hot seat. Hot seat. Uh, oh, we have a wonderful episode coming today. Uh, We're going to talk about the th- thing everybody fears. Ooh, what's that? Dragons. Dragons. I love me some dragons. Come not on now, Marit. not going to talk about dragons. Ah, okay. We're going to talk about, I would say, one of the most difficult things we have in our lives. Uh huh. Emotion. Oh, I was, I was like taxes. <laughs> <laughs> taxes. Yeah, actually, like, I would yeah, like to have yeah, a conversation yeah, exactly. about taxes. Yeah, we can do that uh, at some point. If the, the American people yeah. think that they have it bad. <laughs> oh my God. They anyways, but we don't even understand. We, we are we're fortunate enough to contribute to society. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Saving that one. No, we're not going to talk about taxes. Mm. Emotions. Emotions. Because you know, and if you are going, I don't have emotion. This is perfect because ah. it's what we're going to talk about today. If you have or you don't have. If you don't have. Uh, we talk about in a flow state events, we talk about unconditional love, we talk about uh, using emotions as fuel. Mm-hmm. Um, but we usually encounter two types of people. Mm-hmm. Either we encounter highly emotional people mm-hmm. or people that don't have emotions. Mm. And we have gotten a question from one of our listeners. Uh, and the question read this, how can one work on identifying their emotions when feeling flat or having difficult connecting? And then a second question on that, how can the emotion, emotional wheel be used? Uh, referring here to heart math and kind of identifying emotions. Mm. Uh, really good questions. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like rewind this a little bit. And that's it. I'm going to say that to begin with, everybody has emotions, right? Unless they are literally brain damaged. But whether you are aware of your emotions or not, that's completely different. And you're like, that's not true, Jason, because I literally am just completely flat. If I put a sensor on your skin, there are sensors you can wear. You will see that your body is physiologically reacting to your environment constantly. Sorry, I'm just smiling over here because when I was young, we had these rings that would change color. Oh, yeah, after mood rings. This is not what we talk about. Ooh, this is a little rings. bit more high tech than that. Yeah, yeah. It's this, not a mood ring you buy in, in, yeah. in the gift shop. Exactly. This is a resistance uh, measure in your skin. So anytime your body experiences stress, you will perspire. Actually, it's a stress response, and that skin conductivity is measurable. And these are things that are not discussed because they are facts. It's like we know that that's the case. So your body's constantly regulating itself between sympathetic, meaning survival, fight and flight, nervous system, and parasympathetic, which is resting and digesting and relaxing and and all that other stuff. So when you feel completely flat, it is not that you're not having emotions. It's just that you are not aware of the emotions that you are having. So mm. if you if you're out there and you're worried, I have no emotions, you yes, you do, because that's how your body, your reactivity, the way that you respond and react to your environment creates physiological responses now Mm. you're like yeah but you know that's the chemistry in my body but i'm not i'm not you know feeling i'm not feeling i'm not getting into it i'm not you know just kind of 
walking through my life and functioning. And that's ish. What, yeah, functioning ish. ish. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. Just to be honest, yeah. if you don't have awareness and connection to your emotions, because I've tried this, uh, mm. you are functioning ish. Yeah. But there are limitations everywhere. It's just that you're not aware of them yet. Yes, because emotions are energy in motion by definition. So let's just talk about this for a second. So if I'm super happy, if you just think for a moment, if you just stop, if I'm happy, is that what direction is that? Does the happiness go outwards or inwards? Outwards. Outwards. It's an outward moving energy. Okay. What about depression? Does it, does it, is it an outward moving or an inward moving? Inward moving. It's an inward moving, right? So things that take your emotion, or your, your attention outward. Or things that take your attention inward. inward. So being sad, is that outward or inward? Inward. Right? Uh, you can be angry at yourself, but you'll feel if you're honest, if you've ever been angry, that that is not an inward moving emotion. It's very outward. That's an moving outward emotion. moving emotion, right? <laughs> yes. You know, shit's going to cook, you know? Yes. So the point with this is, is that identifying emotions first is you know if you if you really are not feeling anything that means most likely there has been some kind of trauma that has disassociated you with the feeling of emotion so uh children that are punished for um um getting confused are terrified of getting confused and then they're always going to be sure about things you yeah, know, and they sure never feel things. feel confused because that means that they're a bad person, right? Yeah, and you so, become inse insecure. And I think, yeah, personally, insecureness is one of those horrific emotions to feel. Yeah, you go, ah. Yeah, but people don't know that in being insecurity is an emotion. No, that's true. They I don't didn't. know. Yeah, they didn't know confusion. They think it's oh, I, I don't know. I'm what's confused going on in, my, in head. my head. Confusion is emotion. Yeah, you either have the information or you don't. Done. That's the head, guys. If you're confused. Or you you wondering, wondering about stuff, you know. Um, so, do you think curiosity, or do you feel curious? Sorry, my our recording equipment asked us a question. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah. Do you do you feel curious, or do you think curiosity? Feel. You feel curious. So, you know the whole the whole thing is that. The people who say that they don't have emotions are indignant, um, um, uh, insecure, uh, anxious, um, in like uh, feeling overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. They do have emotions. It's just that they don't have. Often, when they say I don't have any emotions, that they're not in contact with their happy emotions. Exactly. I'm not happy. I don't feel charitable. I don't feel connected i don't feel i don't feel i don't feel the I, positive side of the emotions yeah. and i rem we will work including myself um but also being we worked with a lot of people that say i don't have emotion i don't feel anything mm -hmm. but it's very interesting when we have this conversation you can look at their body and the body is feeling everything oh they get flushed, they get in, flushed their in their face they start some of them start to sweat they're getting very um anxious in their movement pattern when you sit there yeah but you should but especially the redness and yeah. so the body is feeling it but they are not connected to it they're not connected and the galvanic skin response was what i was talking yeah, about exactly. is going off the chart it's very they're interesting not acknowledging it so it kind of takes away all the doubt of having emotions or not yeah and um, we worked with that with me a lot mm -hmm. a lot lord uh, have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy and because uh, I had, I was aware that I had emotions. Listen to the first season. <laughs> the first season of this podcast. <laughs> I was aware that I had them in the beginning, and then I, I had some really big trauma happening in the army, and basically I became what you would call emotionless. Mm -hmm. I just shut them off. Yeah, you just shut them. You disassociate. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. So I didn't have them. I yeah. didn't. I was actually what you would call an ice queen. And uh, yeah, if not it, ice cream, ice cream, not ice, ice cream, queen. ice queen. Yes, but uh, so just a digression on that. It didn't you, have trauma and has no emotions. <laughs> what? But, 
um, <laughs> and it became a very wicked circle because I didn't feel anything mm -hmm. and I put a lid on every emotion happy sad angry and I have my my fallback emotions are are angry and angry anxiety and and, and uh, depression uh, so those kind of living inside the body mm -hmm. and because I didn't acknowledge them mm -hmm. it kind of it like we talked in the last episode it has to go somewhere so it went into the body i had a lot of inflammations yep. everywhere i had uh, a stomach issues for Ma 10 years massive migraines massive migraines and uh when oh, we started working yeah. uh one of the things you said stop first of all stop calling you something yeah if you call yourself you tell that's a you're telling yourself something. That's a story. Stop that story. Yeah. I'm an ice queen. I'm an ice queen. Yeah. I don't have emotions. Yeah. Stop it. Just just stop I'm just, it. I'm just built different. I'm just built different. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else has. I see she has. I don't. Yeah. So just stop it. Mm -hmm. Just stop it. Yeah. yeah and I'm exactly. like, just stop it. Like, but, you, the, the, but it has to do you're, about the story you're telling yourself. You're reinforcing your disassociation. Yeah. You know, so I'm not yeah. making it easier. Yes. I'm I'm fighting against having them. Yeah. So that was the first thing we kind of looked at. Stop saying you don't have them and stop calling yourself cute ass names, which ladies often do. We we call ourselves, oh, I can't, and I don't have, and stop mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, just acknowledge that you do have them and that you can't uh connect with them and mm -hmm. accept them. Yeah. And then we started, like you said, working on because I didn't have a vocabulary. Yeah, because you start challenging me, and I was lucky enough that anger is a big thing that I do have. So I was like, I'm angry. I always was angry. I'm like, and then you started challenging. Okay, before you now got angry. Yeah, yeah. What were you? I'm like, nothing. And then you started really. We you started working with myself, and that's the the wheel we're talking about. So, were you feeling in the feeling you had? Was it inward going or outward going? Uh, in inward mm -hmm. and then was it high frequency mm -hmm. was it like t -t 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 -t, or was it mellow mm -hmm. uh, i was it was well, i was mellow mm -hmm. okay so could we call it sad oh, oh. you got and sad and then we responded by getting angry to protect yourself yes because angry is more powerful or less powerful than sad more powerful way more powerful you feel more powerful when you're angry than when you're sad yeah and i could direct it instead of looking in i could direct it out, out. Exactly. so this was a whole this was three years we did this and and yes. you kind of in the beginning i had I had uh, i could be happy mm -hmm. i was well, at least i knew it was something i was called happy uh i had anger and that was it yeah. i actually had two i did not mean that <laughs> exactly. before i had two and then i understood depression mm -hmm. and then i understood anxiety yes and then panic, panic. <laughs> <laughs> and then sadness yes. no going to the yes. i started yep. on this side yes but you kind of start to understand it's a whole circle and then i got um i got peace yes came sneaking in there I'm yep. like what's this sneaky snake but and i couldn't again i couldn't identify what it was so i was asked the same questions again was it inward or outward it was inward and was mellow but it wasn't sad and i got very confused when this wasn't sadness mm -hmm. because you also have the lighter side exactly i call them the sisters yes not because the, they have up opposites which would yeah. be um this, I'm, I'm showing yeah you, you know what i mean yeah you can put words yeah. on what i'm showing yeah, I hope. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> happy and sadness for happy example. and sadness yes they are opposites yeah but then i call them sisters or mm -hmm. brothers mm -hmm. because they're on the same call them sisters yeah the ladies got the energy sisters. they got the juice you know you have you have they're on the same frequency but just on opposite sides mm. so sadness and peace well yeah you know they're in the same field yeah but different frequencies so different. happy is higher frequency than than sadness yeah yeah but then you have to have the on the sides yeah you know peace is mellow and but it's yeah. a good one yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and then you have sadness which is mellow and not so fun yeah exactly <laughs> so you have kind yeah. of a lot of so we worked a lot on this to just expand the vocabulary on emotions yeah and i used google and and then we worked on so which one is this and then we mm -hmm. did what we had just have done like 
Okay, is it in is it inward or outward? High or low? Is it what you would call a, a darker one or a lighter one? Yep. And, and you don't actually have to have the name of the of the emotion not at all in order to work with it you can just say is it inward going or or is it outward going is it high frequency or low frequency is it you know this you know or that you know you can look at it that way exactly because you know it's kind of like this thing if you guys like trivia uh, people say that they eat healthy and if that's the case then quick name without using lettuce five green leafy vegetables that you eat rucola that's not spinach. leafy. it's spinach, not leafy. spinach is but yeah like kale is oh we're giving them away Shh. Oh, sh but you guys can try that and if you can't name five that means you don't eat them which means you're not a, eating a, a a very super healthy <laughs> diet same thing you know i'm 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 all you know contact with my emotions okay write down 10 emotions see if you can do it most people have like uh angry sad depression uh and then you have you you are greedy <laughs> and then most of all we'll say gratitude because everybody just had to say it yeah you are, never, yeah, it. Yeah, you are feeling you are feeling it people but if you never, feel gratitude exactly you then know you, yeah then you, you know, know yeah when you really understand actually it, feel yeah, that thing it's amazing uh, and, and oh love but you know most people are not in but it's love. a very good exercise yeah. it's it's unbelievably giving just to look at what you know like what can what can you list can you list 20 emotions? 10 positive and 10 negative. Ne negative ones? Yeah, just try. It's, it's actually quite difficult. Do the work, right? Just yeah. look at it. Yeah, because if you're not willing to look and discover, you can never work with it, actually. So look, see if you can do it. And it's a very interesting, and people, I don't want to look at my emotions. But the thing is, you have them anyways. Mm -hmm. It's not, for me, that was kind of one of those big realizations because i was like well if i don't feel them if i don't acknowledge them i don't have them but they have again we talked they had to go somewhere so if you think your life is not limited mm -hmm. but not having them or accepting them you are wrong mm -hmm. because they leak out in your body and can create inflammation and digestive digestive problems uh, heart problems and migraines mm -hmm. i've had all of these mm -hmm. <laughs> uh inflammations mm -hmm. out of rashes. this world rashes you don't want a rash you don't want a rash <laughs> um and it leaks out in your personal life yes in your workplace mm -hmm. to your loved ones mm -hmm. because and the closer they are the more excuse me the more shit they get yeah they, yeah you allow yourself to show them who you are what you feel instead of realize that they're human beings with a heart that don't deserve to be whipped and they're also doing the best the they do they're doing every everything they can so yeah unless they're not get rid of them <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's exceptions well you know it's it's the leak everywhere exactly and the thing is every emotions are yeah. yours yeah and that also gives you the power when you start to acknowledge them that for me i i also kind of play the picture of you can start catching them before they leak out and take them back in and then you if you don't understand the quality say it's anger mm -hmm. anger you get stuff done with anger yeah i have a i have a friend who uh i'm a mentor for and uh there was a thing that he had to fix and he suffers from what people would call paranoia and uh so when i knew that and i know that he has paranoia and it's a powerful mover in his life i just gave him all the really paranoid reasons to do that thing and he's like oh that's gonna be easy because i have to get it done now exactly and it's it's learning to because emotions are energy in motion so you need to be able to first identify or at least contact the emotion see feel it and then you have to learn how to channel that in a way that serves your life and every emotion you can do this with so i yes. have anxiety mm -hmm. anxiety is a big one for me and anxiety is fair for the future yeah things you can't control yeah. and that's the whole point you can't control it mm -hmm. so it's a super channel channeler to get stuff that you can't control done mm -hmm. paperwork cleaning uh, that you can control that you can control you so can. you get stuff done yeah. that takes energy and when you have a lot of anxiety christmas cleaning becomes easy oh man and you feel good afterwards because you're going to have to do them anyways yeah. your the energy gets moved 
out of your system yeah. and you get to do you can check things off your list so you hold less yeah. so the anxiety relaxes exactly so it's every mm -hmm. emotion has this quality yes and when you like sadness mm -hmm. wonderful meditation oh it's amazing you you really feel connected with yourself when you're really sad because when you really go in and feel how you're feeling and it's a very sweet emotion actually it's very sweet once you get over the the personalization of it exactly so but there's one interesting thing that i'd like to bring up now there is there is a brain injury that actually keeps people from feeling fear think about that and you're like oh i want that mm, you know you don't actually want that because if you have no fear it's kind of like having leprosy leprosy people that have leprosy lose the ability to feel their skin and feel their their body parts so when they get injured they don't know they get infected and that's why you see these movies with people with their fingers cut off and their arms cut off because they get uh, gangrene they start to rot and if they yeah, don't you can off, burn yourself on the stove and, yeah, and you don't and you don't feel it feel it so not being aware is not nice and not being able to be fearful is not good so exactly. so like there's this lady um this is a, this is a case study actually when i learned about this in neurology um she was taken out by a guy his she's you know and he, she wanted a ride and he's like hey why don't you get my car i'll take you for a ride and then she's like oh okay because she has no fear and then he drives her out into this like way out in the boonies and you know bad things are about to happen and some people show up and he stops but she's not afraid so basically what happens is that she ends up then walking back to town again alone and this guy drives back into town of course because somebody came and interrupted but then he thought okay she's going to call the cops never call the cops how do we know about this because she had been then told to go to a psychologist to figure out why she's not afraid because these things are so obvious for everybody else that you're getting into a stranger's car he tries something somehow it gets broken up you are walking back into town by yourself in the middle of the night it's just so random weird stuff and never afraid mm. and you're like oh she's a brave person no she's just not afraid now if you do soma breath which you will experience at the flow state continuum you will trigger the centers in your brain stem that create a fear response from the basis of your neurology that sounds fun <laughs> it is sorry <laughs> it is i love someone breath but <laughs> someone breath is good <laughs> it is because now now you have to understand yes. you have to listen to this would you rather experience your your darker emotions in safe ways so that you learn how to handle them that doesn't punish your life or would you rather have to be put in terrifying situations that may actually injure you or break your life in order to learn how to handle them mm. look to do that in a safe environment you'd like to do it in a safe environment that's number one number two would you like to increase your threshold for stress or decrease it increase you would like to increase it so if you learn to feel comfortable with the feeling of fear and anxiety but still register fear and anxiety so that it bothers you less is that a good thing or a bad thing good thing it's a good thing so when you're doing soma breath and see that we're see if that's uh, part of the tripod and the integrated human she does these soma breath sessions with she's five amazing. breath holds she's amazing and that's just yeah. to, because if people haven't done i think are you referring that the breath hold yeah yeah, I, the, yeah, yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah that's exactly right the the sieve is the only certified soma breath instructor in, in all of norway yeah. right so you can experience this actually in the flow state continuum uh weekends that we have the events 
when you do a long breath hold, especially on the breath out, when you've done this other sequence of breathing, you trigger this survival reaction in your brainstem and it will actually wake up that part of the brain that this lady was having issue with. Mm -hmm. And there are case studies showing that people who then are way stressed out are able to handle their fear and anxiety responses much better when they do these exercises. Also, the people that are disconnected from their emotions can jumpstart their emotions by and their connectivity with emotions by doing the work. Mm. So if you feel like you're an ice queen and you don't have any connection, come to the flow state event in February. Yes. Bring the, it. Um, I think that's the and that's the beautiful thing with the soma breath is that when you because you, you do arrhythmical breathing and then you have a breath hold on the uh, out exhale. On the exhale. exhale. You, so usually when you're swimming in a swimming pool, you do a, a breath hold on the inhale. Here's a breath hold on the exhale. Yes. And um, it's very interesting. And I see with such a, a magician here because she challenges you to feel because your body's going to go, we're not breathing. Dude, we are not breathing. Yep. Wake up. Wake up. And it kind of it triggers that response you talked about. And the challenge we then sit with is that try to push that because the, the big secret is that you can always go and breathe. Yeah. No one's holding your nose. No. So you can, <laughs> that would be horrific. Yeah. <laughs> so you can always, <laughs> but the challenge is to, like we said, feel it, dare to feel it and push it. And after a while, she, she will say, and then breathe in. And that feeling, when you kind of has pushed yourself, you go totally opposite. Mm -hmm. It's such a, Euphoric feeling in your whole body. It's insane. Many, and like we talked about, uh, have found peace for the first time ever. Ever. It's just incredible. Yeah. And what we've seen, because uh, on the full states, you know, we do this so called Craig math method, where you find the worldview and your person philosophy and the incongruencies, and we do soma breath to kind of do the changes that the individual want to change. And we've done this now. We have had people, and this was, this came now, this uh, was a feedback we got this summer. Mm -hmm. Fall, no, it was this fall, it was not too long ago. Uh, and it was one of our wonderful guys that are, is it stoic? Mm -hmm. Is that what they call it? Stoic. Stoic, mm -hmm. very polite, very decent. Mm -hmm. Don't have him, didn't acknowledge his emotions. Mm -hmm. And he, he encountered a situation where he was looking at some people interact. And he said, it was amazing. I was sitting there and I saw a room full of love, which yeah. I've never experienced before. And it was just like, I got tears to my eyes sitting there. Yeah. That um, a young, powerful male filled with testosterone was suddenly in contact and in the presence of love. He was watching love. He was watching. And this guy has experienced love, it. but he'd never he has experienced, but he actually never felt it. Yeah. And like I said, it was the beautiful thing because he wasn't involved with it, which also showed mm -hmm. that he was just watching a situation. Yeah. And he was just filled with love for that situation. Yeah. Yeah. And I need to I need I'm gonna mention his name. Not this one, the stoic one, but this other one, because he's posted this on Instagram yesterday. Yeah. We have a wonderful Swedish man, Martin. Oh, he's awesome. Wow, Martin. Yeah, well the done, The feedback, sir. the post you made on Instagram yesterday. Thank you. If you wonder if this work we're doing is worth it. Yes. It is. This is the guy that have never, as, as I understand at least, never kind of been in contact with emotions. But this summer fall, he had uh, been introduced <laughs> to panic and anxiety. Yes. And he, he was back and forth, but he attended the first date in September and we had a conversation with him in uh, one of the breaks around how to deal with it. And we gave him, okay, this is how you look at it, this is how you, how you work with it. Uh, he used moksha meditation that you bring into the flow states every time because it's the foundation of everything. It's where you are able to be totally present but observe everything. And he's been dealing with, he's been working his emotions not just sitting in them. He's been working them the last months and the changes he had made. Mm, I'm so impressed. 
yes, he yes. has really understood how to cha challenge a uh, challenge challenge cha channel channel <laughs> yeah yeah the challenge oh, of channeling the challenge of channeling yes he's been channeling his emotions yes. and they've been building his life his family his work yes. his training everywhere in his everywhere. life instead of him becoming sick and wrecked and unemployed because everywhere you are there you are that's it so improving yourself improves your life fixing something on the outside doesn't fix you not at all but handling that beast on the inside Ooh. that heart of yours Ooh. when you can start to see what power that lays mm. and when you do that because then when peace arrives you go perfect let's meditate because to sit in that is such more pleasant than sitting in happiness and meditating because sitting happy and meditating you're like um and I, and I need to do something you want to do something i want to tell some, something to someone uh, you want to spread it yeah uh. but when you're at peace or, or sad sit and meditate perfect and you could just sit there for hours mm -hmm. because that's the feeling of quality of the emotion and being sad and depressed honestly then it's really easy to meditate you can sit and go deep as long as you have the tools if you have the tools you know now now you have to ask yourself should i work with my emotions or shouldn't i well do you want more energy would you like to feel less exhausted would you like to be enthusiastic about meeting your life every single day then you should and if you feel like you have no connection with your emotions or when you say you love somebody you actually don't feel love in your heart for them or when you say oh i'm really grateful but you don't feel grateful or if you're happy but happy feels the same as not being happy then you need to work with that then you know that there's a place that you can actually gain so much power i would say that you, you gain true power and when you align your your mind a little bit align your mind <laughs> align your channel mind that and emotion you, you become unstoppable it. you become unstoppable and on the other side of it if you my lovely beers my my emotional friends that you know you have emotions and you feel like your emotions take you for a ride they block your thinking they color the way you see the world and then that changes the way you see the world and whether people are good or bad and you know nice or evil or you know if you're uh, constantly being judging around. yourself being thrown around by your emotions then you need to also do the work because that means that you're not able to channel the emotions in a productive way in your life and both of those things you get at the flow states both of those things you get by using the tools that we teach this is the heat the human evolutionary and achievement technology that we've developed the system of discovery transformation and integration will not let you down so remember you matter unless you're multiplied by the speed of light squared then your energy but if you can't be energy matter Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you felt we added something to your day and hopefully your life. If you want to learn more, subscribe to our newsletter and find us at integrated-human.com. That is integrated-human.com. Integrated Human on YouTube and other social media platforms. Have a great day and thank you again for listening. Love, light and upgrade from us at Integrated Human Team.